Hi Brennan. Hi. Thanks for driving me to the airport. And thanks for letting me bump my Christmas tunes on the way here. <laughs> Alright, I love you and I'm gonna see you after Christmas, right? I love you and I'll see you in a few days. Alrighty, bye-bye. Bye. And now I'm grabbing my bag and gonna go check in in the airport. So Brennan just dropped me off over there. There's a Universal store right there, a Kennedy Space Center store over there. This is a Disney store, and then right behind me is a giant, beautiful Christmas tree that's in the main atrium area of the Orlando International Airport Hotel, I guess. But I'm grabbing my bag, and I'm gonna go hop on my flights to Pensacola, Florida to visit my family. It looks like a new Magic of Disney store is gonna be arriving soon at the airport. Well, that's kinda cool. I feel very fortunate because right now it's a very minimal wait for security to check my bag and to get to my gates. So that's awesome. So this is kind of a cool touch. Every few seconds they have Santa fly by on his sleigh, pulled by his reindeer because it's a couple days before Christmas that I'm flying out to go to Pensacola. That's a fun little touch. Well, I on Central Florida, I have so much to offer. There's a good chance you didn't see and do it all. So please come back and visit us again very soon. So that took about 10 minutes to get through security, which is probably the most efficiently I've ever gotten through security here. So I'm having a really good morning today, actually. So the rather unique aspect of the flight that I'm getting on today is where there would normally be a jet plane. There is none because I'm gonna be hopping on a propeller plane to Pensacola. For some reason, Silver is one of the most Pensacola-friendly airlines, so I usually take it to and from Pensacola, and it's definitely a fun little intimate flight. I do enjoy it. later I have landed in Pensacola my parents are currently on the way to come pick me up Ooh, feels good to walk the feet those little propeller planes they don't really uh, do you any favors when it comes to feet room the Pensacola airports always been very small but it's one that I'm very comfortable with and I've taken a lot of flights out of here to some really cool places all right so there's my car and here's my mama hey. mom look at you Welcome looking all adorable home. and then is Dennis in here somewhere he there's is. Dennis Ta -da. Dennis what Get kind of plaid there. shirt is that? There. Get over there. And there's that. Okay, let's go to lunch. You want to pop the hatch, babe? Well, first we're going to stop at home real quick to unload some groceries they apparently just went shopping for and to put my stuff inside, but then we're going to go get some lunch. Hi, Dennis. Hello. I like your shirt. I think that's one of our granddad's old shirts, right? Mm, maybe. So, Dennis, you got here yesterday, right? Yep. And how long are you staying in Pensacola? Uh, I'm here till the first. So you're here for a couple weeks right now because it's a couple days before Christmas that I flew down. Uh, and then in a few days, my plan is that I'm going to be flying up to Virginia to rendezvous with Brennan up there with her family. So I'm going to be spending about half the time here and then half the time with her and her family. So, But you're going to be here the whole time. Yep, because <laughs> I'm the best son. All right, so here we are coming to, what is this called? The Seville it's Diner? called Scenic 90. The Scenic only, 90. The only restaurant our dad thinks exists. <laughs> Our dad really likes this diner. All right, so we are inside the Scenic Cafe here. They have a lot of fun selections, a lot of seafood selections, which is what I'm most excited about for <laughs> this trip to Pensacola because I don't have a lot of seafood back in Orlando, but I think I'm gonna get the, uh, the shrimp oyster basket here with some sides and some soup. All right, so Dennis got himself some uh, seafood jambalaya, dad got some fillets, and then mom and I both, we think alike, we're smart. We got ourselves a little seafood platter here with some oysters and some shrimp. Some okra, mac and cheese, and fries, and this is gonna be delicious. All right, so this was the Scenic 90 Cafe. I know why I thought it was the Seville Diner earlier. That's because there's a diner that's a little bit down the road a little bit that kind of has the same kind of ambience. It's a little bit down the road, but I used to come here a few times back in the day. That was a good meal. All right, so we're back home after having a incredible lunch. I missed real Seafood. You don't really get seafood like that in Orlando being that far inland, but Pensacola is right on the bay here, so they have incredible seafood in Pensacola. I'm feeling tired. I woke up really early this morning to make sure I was packed, ready to go, make sure that Farley was okay. 
Uh, which, I forgot that I filmed this, but I said goodbye to Farley. Goodbye, Farley. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll be back here soon, okay, buddy? Why aren't you looking at me, Farley? But he is going to be okay because Brennan is looking after him right now. And then he's going to be on his own just a little bit while we meet up in uh, Virginia here in a little bit. And I don't think I finished kind of telling the plan there. Or maybe I did, but I just want to go over it one more time. Uh, so the next, like week is going to be split between here and Virginia, being with my family here and then meeting up with Brennan for, uh, I guess, more kind of New Year's time with her family uh, in Virginia. It's going to be really cold, but I'm ready for it. And I was just in Virginia a few months ago for my cousin's wedding, but heading back and, you know, I don't really know what kind of plans they have for us up there. But after we kind of hang around up there, I'm going to be taking a connecting flight, not a connecting flight, just a flight from here to Virginia and then going to be driving back with her family on New Year's back to Orlando. It's going to be kind of a long drive. Don't know how much of that I'm going to film. I'm still trying to kind of figure that out just to see what everybody's comfortable with, I guess. I'm going to try to film this as much as I can because this is the really important stuff for me. I only make it home once a year, if that, you know, so I got to gotta make sure I kind of commit this to my journal that is my YouTube these days. But uh, we do have some family that's coming over tonight for dinner, so uh, that's why earlier my mom had to unload some stuff from uh, the grocery into the house before we had lunch. So I'm going to go inside, help out with that, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a nice little dinner here tonight. Yay! Alright, so our guests just arrived. They are currently downstairs. I tried to help my mom as much as I could with dinner, but now my project is up here on our balcony overlooking our wonderful lawn. Uh, I want to help my mom out with some Christmas lights because my dad never wants to really decorate for Christmas, so I'm taking it upon myself to try to figure out these lights, which I think these are more for the gutter, but I'm going to try to make them work here on the banister. I have some string. Oh, I'm going to drop them off the balcony, uh, but I have some string, and I'm going to just see what I can do if I can make some Christmas magic happen. That'd be really cool. So I am nowhere close to done, but I did come down here to retrieve this spool of thread that I knocked off the balcony. This is what I'm using to affix the lights to the balcony, and then I had to get a extension cord so I can plug it in. All right, I probably seem like a social outcast downstairs, but a lot of progress is being made on setting up these lights. So it should be done here pretty soon, hopefully before the sun sets. That's a ramp for my grandmother to get in and out of the house easier, by the way, whenever we go pick her up a little bit later. Well, so I knocked the spool down again, but what do you think? It's coming along pretty nicely, right? Very simple, but it'll be nice and eloquent. All right, and I'm done. Look at it, it goes all the way down the banisters because I used an entire length, like up to like right there. So then I'd use another length going down the banister, but yay, it looks so nice and Christmassy and inviting. I'm so proud of myself. And now that it is officially dark, I think my dad and I are gonna hop in the car and go pick up my grandmother around the corner at her retirement home, bring her back here, and then we're all gonna have some dinner together. So we just got here to my grandma's room. I'm trying to talk really quiet because she's taking a little bit of a nap right now. She's in her nightgown, which isn't the best thing because we were gonna take her to have dinner at our place. So it looks like she's already had dinner and is already ready for bed pretty early on in the evening. But she has a new room here since the last time that I came. But something that's really cool is that she's using my blanket that I got her last year for Christmas. And then over here, I sent her these a long time ago and they're still here, even on her calendar. It says Roy here. That's when I get here. So she's been waiting for me to get here. So we're gonna go ahead and go back home and bring the family back here in a little bit to say hi to her because she's already in her nightgown. But look at this. This shares a very strong resemblance to a very certain castle that I know very well. All right, heading back home for dinner. All right, so right now everybody's literally in the TV room watching the end of a Saints game. So I wanted to run in here and kind of show off the spread of dinner that we are having tonight. Look at all of this. And this is the uh, the desserts right here. We have some, I think, in the fridge still some lemon, uh, yeah, whatever, ooh, that's kind of bright. Yeah, whatever those are, uh, orange balls, I think, is what those are. So that kind of accompanying this whole spread right over here. We're gonna have a really, really good dinner tonight, and I am so excited for it. I don't think so, dinner. It's a fun game until you play with Travis. Yeah, maybe in 20 minutes. Is that like a And then he full on just like, he just game theories you. Demolishes everybody. All right, so the family just hit the road back to Mobile. That's where they drove from to have dinner with us tonight. That was, I had to have my mom explain it to me. Uh, that was my mom's first cousin, Barbara, and her husband, Hank, and I guess my first cousin once removed, and my second cousins, Edward and John. 
Uh, so right now, Dennis and my dad are watching some football. My mom's uh, starting to clean up in the, ki in the kitchen, so we have a lot of that to clean up throughout the rest of the night. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. This was a fun first day in Pensacola, really just going to the airport and flying into town, having a delicious seafood lunch, and then um, you know going to visit my grandma, even though we did tell her that we were gonna come back a little bit later, but that ended up not happening because she was already pretty much ready for bed anyway, and by the time we would have gotten over there, it would have been way late and she would have been far asleep. So we're just gonna hang out with her tomorrow. I'm pretty sure tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Tonight was Christmas Eve Eve, I guess. Uh, but yeah, fun first day in Pensacola. I enjoyed it quite a lot, and we have a few more days of festive cheer to enjoy with the family, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you for watching this, and I know these family vlogs that I do from home are not the most exciting ones comparatively to the ones at the theme parks, but these are the important ones for me. Uh, so have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.